What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about some of the young guys that have been in and around the Chicago Bulls at the moment and working very hard in the offseason. A couple of things that people have said, some photos, obviously some tournaments that these guys are playing in that shows that the progression looks really exciting from a fan's perspective, watching these guys play in and around multiple competitions, as well as just talking about how much they're playing together as well. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to The Bull Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about whether or not you believe the Chicago Bulls progression from our young players will be the key aspect towards us having a successful season. We have a lot of young players on this team. This team, as old as some of the players might be, still have a lot of young, really talented players that still have room to improve in terms of their NBA career. And of course, that would mean towards the success of the Chicago Bulls. We got a couple of things to look forward to here. The first thing I want to talk about is what Kobe White was saying about this Chicago Bulls team. Basically talking about how a lot of the Chicago Bulls team is constantly training together, constantly playing and getting involved with each other in this period. Obviously, they're all in LA for the most part and they're all really coming together to really get some chemistry going. He said that obviously this team has championship aspirations and they're trying to take the next step forward in trying to accomplish those championship aspirations. Now, of course, as a competitor, as, as I'm sure Kobe White is and a lot of our players are, most of it, not all of our players should be, we're going to be competitive. We're going to be talking about championship aspirations and stuff like that. I know many Bulls fans don't necessarily believe that we are a championship team at the moment and that's perfectly fine. I'm not. I'm one of those people, to be honest. I don't believe we're a championship team at the moment, but we want to see progress. We want to see us take the next level. So there's still faith instilled within this team, this organization and everything in that nature for us to go and attack it for multiple years to come. So progression is what I want to see. And Kobe White is basically saying that this team is working very hard to ensure that their chemistry is going to improve and that they continue to have those championship aspirations. So that's obviously good to hear. Let's hope that actions speak louder than words. And I guess we'll figure out what we're really going to be doing in terms of that chemistry and everything like that on the court, preseason, training camp, the regular season, when we get to see all of that hard work that they're doing together pay off in front of the fans, in front of our hometown fans in front of the away fans and just trying to get, in my opinion, as good as we could possibly be. Very, very good comments from Kobe White. I liked what I heard from him and hopefully we will see those actions and hopefully that will be louder than those words that everybody seems to be talking at the moment. Of course, we know that they're together right now, the Chicago Bulls team. Most of them are playing in and around with each other. Some of them are playing in different tournaments as well, which is exactly what Patrick Williams is doing, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a good transition there. I feel like every couple of days, I hear about Patrick Williams playing in a new tournament or playing in this game or playing in that game, playing with DeMar, playing with Paul George, etc., etc. And I absolutely love this from Patrick Williams. Now, we know Patrick Williams is going to be a very hard worker. He may not be a guy that's very vocal. He may not be talking about himself or anything like that. But you can clearly see there are a bunch of people trying to, I guess, look through what Patrick Williams has been doing in the offseason. And he's been playing a lot of games, ladies and gentlemen, trying to get better on his craft. He's playing with elite players as well, trying to learn from them. I love the fact that he was playing with Paul George and learning with Paul George, guarding Paul George. I like the fact that he's been with DeMar DeRozan. I think both of them can really teach valuable lessons for Patrick Williams. Paul George, incredible player, one of the best in the NBA, um, very good two-way player. And I think he can learn a lot from Paul George. DeMar DeRozan, one of the great, in my opinion, one of the greats last year, arguably in the MVP conversation, one of the best offensive caliber players you could ask for from the mid-range and very, very, very articulate, very, very smart in what he does. Incredible player DeMar DeRozan is. And he's learning from these players and he's taking things on board with these players as well. So I'm really, really happy to see how Patrick Williams is going about his offseason as well, talking about different, or what playing different games and everything like that. It makes me very happy because we know Patrick Williams, what the steps, in my opinion, he has to take. But it's good to see that he's learning from these really top players, these players that could teach him a thing or two about the next level and how to get to the next level. And everybody's rooting for Patrick Williams, in my opinion, to have a great season. And we'll wait and see what the outcome will be. But that's just another player that I think, young guy, working really hard, trying to get his next step in the NBA. And we'll wait and see what the outcome will be next season. But last and not least, Ayo Dosumu. Now, 
I've heard a lot about Ayo Desumu in the early part of uh, the end of the season and stuff like that. He was going to take a week off pretty much and then train and train and train, getting ready for next season. And we saw a photo recently come out about Ayo Desumu and the guy looks absolutely massive. He looks he looks incredibly good. Um, it's, it's surprising that he's in his second year in the NBA and he's looking like that. Um, he looks really, really strong. He looks like he's going to be able to bully people a little bit more. It looks like he's going to be a very tough cover. Uh, for any offensive player trying to get past Ayo Desumu. He looks like he's taking the next step, which is all we can really ask for. I feel like all three of these guys, in terms of Kobe White, Ayo Desumu, and Patrick Williams, are trying to take the next step in terms of their NBA careers. You look at Ayo Desumu, you look how strong he looks right now. He looks absolutely built, and you know the caliber of player that he's on that was already on this team already, and it looks like he's trying to take the next step. Patrick Williams is playing in every single league imaginable, it looks like, trying to take the next step. If you look at Kobe White, White recently, Kobe White looks very strong. He looks like he's really changed the way that his body looks and he looks physically stronger. And of course, he's trying to work on stuff like his handles and his offensive game and stuff like that. And we know he's trying to improve his defense as well. That looks really good from Kobe White. I actually speak loud of the words in terms of his case because he's got a lot to prove to us. But Patrick Williams and Ayo Desumu, in my opinion, all three of them seem to be working really hard. And we need them to really step up because in my opinion, I think Vucevic needs to have a step up in terms of what he can produce for the Chicago Bulls. A little bit more efficiency from the three. Uh, again, maybe just a little bit more agile, get to the right places. He's already a high IQ player. We know he can produce those good numbers. We just got to see it more efficiently, in my opinion. And we got to see it more become more of an effective part of his game. Then you've got guys like Patrick Williams, who missed a lot of the season last year. He's going to be, in my opinion, one of the key factors in how good we can actually play. Because we haven't really seen Patrick Williams play a whole season with this brand new team. He's going to be the X Factor in many ways. Ayo Dusumu taking the next step. He's in a contract year just like Kobe White, wanting to make sure he get the best possible payday for himself. And I'm almost extremely positive that the Bulls are going to be considering paying him. And you got Kobe White with something to prove. A lot of people have so many doubts on Kobe White. A lot of people don't want Kobe White on this Chicago Bulls team. If you go look at any Twitter post, go look at any YouTube video, go look anywhere about Kobe White, and you look at the comments on any single post, there will be bunches of people saying that they do not want Kobe White on this team. So that shadow of a doubt he probably has the most to prove to anybody and he's working hard to try and prove that point and obviously we'll wait and see how it reflects on the court which is what is going to matter the most but so far so good in terms of how these guys are progressing in the offseason i'm not going to really be uh complaining about kobe white ayo desumu or patrick williams and how they're working out it looks like they're working very hard and of course the idea that every single bulls player or most of the bulls players are working together as well while also looking for individual tournaments playing in certain leagues and stuff like that that's an incredible sight to see we are getting a little bit closer day by day step by step we're getting a little bit closer to those training camps to those preseason games and i'm really looking forward to see how this bulls team can end up faring in those situations and let's really see how good we've got I feel like we see this all the time in the off season where people are praising how well we're playing. People are praising how good we can be. Uh, so many people are praising Patrick Williams and the level that he's trying to get to. Obviously, the photos of Ayo and the videos of Kobe White and stuff like that. We've seen a lot of positive things. But I feel like at the off-season stage, you're going to see a lot of, of positive things. There's not many negatives you're going to see from the Chicago Bulls in the off-season, outside of injuries, of course. So we've got a long way to go, and we're going to have to figure out just how much work has been done and how much improvements have been made from these young players alongside of everybody else. So with all that being said, I'm going to end this video here. This is basically a video of just me praising these young guys for putting in the hard work from what we've seen in perspective and hopefully that hard work can reflect on the court thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you're new i'll see you in another chicago bulls video ladies and gentlemen have a wonderful and safe day stay safe stay healthy stay tuned for more take care and